Good Friday afternoon and thank you for joining us for Local 4 News at noon. We do start with breaking news out of East Lansing where Michigan State Athletic Director Mark Hollis has resigned after being with the school for a decade. This is all on the heels of the resignation of the university's president, Luana Simon. Let's go live now to Local 4's Jason Colthorpe who's been following this story for us from East Lansing live there with the very latest. Jason. Everett, this is really the biggest domino outside of Luana Simon that will fall at Michigan State University and probably bigger than even if any board of trustees members resign as this moves forward. And I say that because uh, many people outside of Michigan State might not realize, but Mark Hollis is one of the premier, was one of the premier athletic directors in America. He's got a background in marketing, a very innovative mind and has kind of taken the athletic department here to new levels. If uh, people know, remember the Cold War, the outdoor hockey game in 2001. That was his idea. He's had ideas for outdoor basketball games and that sort of caught on around the country. But he wasn't able to survive the Larry Nassar scandal. And as you mentioned, 10 years as athletic director, but he's been at Michigan State much longer. Uh, however, when these allegations started coming to light, he discussed that a little bit. Uh, in how it was handled. However, uh, with Luana Simon resigning, he said he found it time. He just couldn't go on. He said this just a few moments ago. I don't want anyone to perceive that I'm walking away. I'm walking forward. I'm walking forward in a way that based upon my deep assessment uh, gives the survivors first and foremost, this athletic department, this university and my family an opportunity um, to heal and, and step forward. Um, there's nothing more than I've enjoyed in the last 10 years. Um, again, my wife Nancy and I, our three kids, not an easy decision. Now his voice did crack many times throughout the press conference. Um, his last day will be Wednesday. He didn't discuss every part of the, the Nasser investigation, but he did mention former gymnastics coach Kathy Clegas when asked about that. Now, if you remember, he is the one who dismissed her, and he said he did that after it was revealed in an investigation that uh, it came out in court documents that she had passed around. Uh, she had asked a gymnast to sign a get well card for Larry Nasser, and once he learned that, he said his conversation with her basically terminating her was a short one. He was also asked about the trainers who were told back in the late 90s, early 2000s uh, when they complained about what Nasser had done and they are still on staff. He said he couldn't discuss that because of a lot of legal problems. So we'll see where that goes. And of course, this all precipitates a one o'clock meeting coming up later today on campus at the administration building, a board of trustees meeting that is open to the public. We will be there and we will be reporting all day live on campus here uh, on Local 4. Everett. All right, the fallout continues. Jason, thank you. And of course, uh, we are continuing to watch what's going to happen next because in the wake of the Larry Nassar scandal, the U.S. Olympic Committee says that it's time for the heads at USA Gymnastics to go. The Olympic Committee is threatening to take USA Gymnastics status as the sports governing body unless it meets certain conditions. The first being the entire board has to resign by next week. They're also requiring all staff and board members to complete ethics training within six months. If USA Gymnastics does not meet these requirements, it could face decertification. Now, Michigan State University will be holding its first board meeting since the resignation of Luke President Luana Simon. Jason mentioned that the meeting will be held at one o'clock today to discuss the university's presidential transition. This comes as students are planning marches and protests to show their anger that university administration allowed this to go unchecked for so long. They're also seeking more changes to the university and the reporting of sexual harassment. And as Jason mentioned, we will be there and we'll have complete coverage for you a little bit later on local forum.